Now you're being recorded. All right. Welcome, everybody. Um, it is this is Move, Meditate, and Make a Difference. I'm Amber, if you haven't met from Happy Human. We are a person in-home personal training company in the Twin Cities area, Minnesota. And we are doing this to keep ourselves all moving. So I'm so happy you've joined us. And also so, uh, remote training. Oh yes. Also oh yes. <laughs> we also do remote training in this new time. All of a sudden. <laughs> We do training in this capacity also. So one-on-one, um, -on -one, as this is like group. Okay, and we today will be having a background roller. So if you have small people who would like to join in the rolling in the background, Jasper is providing an example. In the past, he's tried for 500 rolls in our time. He's going for 800 today. So start moving your feet. We are going to do some power work today. So if you're new, I try to always provide a variety of options. We have a variety of people taking the class. So really try to meet me where you're at. So don't feel bad if you're not doing the most advanced um, or if you have to change from doing the one you're doing to one that's less difficult, that's fine. Don't feel bad about that. So. Let's speed our feet up just a little bit. You can't go into the playroom right now. No, you'll have to find stuff over there. So, marching your feet. Marching your feet. Bring your arms in so you're swinging your arms a little bit. So, going for a little jog, using your feet, moving through your feet. Try not to step back on your roller if you have a roller. Okay, you're gonna we're gonna do the one where you kick your butt. So just popping your feet backwards. It can be small. You could just be sending your feet back behind you, kind of like when animals paw at the ground. Or you could be jumping. And then bringing Jasper just would hit 100. He's gonna hit 800. No problem. <laughs> Send your knees up in front of you trying to get your knees up as high as you can get them starting to feel your breath that's good then come back to just easy just easy then you're going to circle your arms with a little bit of speed you can keep your feet going and then reverse your arms. Okay, then we're gonna do some squats. Hands here, shoulders going forward. These are I Dream of Genie squats. So you can wiggle your nose if you can. If you don't know the reference, you're gonna to have to Google it. So wiggle your nose, do your squat. Coming back up, sending your elbows parallel to the floor the whole time. So it's gonna help you keep your torso relatively upright. Heels stay down. You're going as low as you can. We'll just do a couple more. We're warming up our legs. Because today, is a burpee day and even though i have my sound muted i can hear everybody going oh no burpees but they're so good okay so <coughs> excuse me um so we're gonna look at the parts of the burpees we just did squats so that's an important part of the burpee other part of the burpee is your push-ups so you can do, if you, when we do push-ups, if you do them on the chair in the back of the couch, you can do, I'm gonna show you one push-up. If you already know how to do burpees, feel free to start while I explain the first variation. So the first variation would be, you do your squat, you step out, you do your push-up on the chair, you step back in and you come up. You can do that on the floor. Squat, step out, push up, Step in, stand up. You can jump. Out, push up, jump in, 
Step up. You can also jump all of them. So you jump up. Push up. Jump in. Jump up. Jump up. Push up. Jump in. Jump up. We're going to do a few more. Keep going. Whatever variation you're doing. In and up. Two more of your variation. Jasper's at 190. Woo! Okay. Breathe. Catch your breath. That was good. So I always feel free. If you know the exercise I'm giving, to start right when I mention it. Because I will be spending some extra time teaching variations. And so you know it. You can get going right off the bat and make it all a little more intense for you. So we're going to do power step ups now. So there's variations for these two. First, I'll show you the full one. Full one is here, right? Really jumpy from your lunge. Partial one is a little step back. You don't even have to jump, but you're imagining you're jumping. Or you can just keep that small lunge with a little jump. Stay on the same side the whole time. Or you can go into the full one. Jasper just hit 200. Nice, Jasper. Really working that power leg. Just do a couple more. Woo. Okay, pause. You should feel that leg. I do. I feel it. <laughs> Jesse can feel it. Oh, Jasper's getting a tired neck. That might be enough then. Take a break. You can do some leg stuff with us. Yeah, do some leg stuff. <laughs> so now we're going to do the other side. So I think I'm just it can be a little. Hop. Jasper's going to hop. I like it. So it can be a little jump. Or not even the jump, right? So you can just jump. Imagine that you're jumping. I'm gonna sit back so I can make sure there's room. So you come down and up. Yeah. Up. Nice. Don't forget to change feet if you're hopping. Get both feet working. Doing good. Give me a few more. <laughs> so I saw a hilarious video of a dog, a very large dog, that was trying to join, join stop its human family in its lunges. And I will figure out how to post it on our Facebook group today, because it really made me smile. It was so sweet to see this big log dog, huge dog, figuring out how to do lunges to follow its human family around. Okay, Whew. coming down to the floor. We're gonna do high plank. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get into your high plank position. Your arm's gonna go out to the side. Touch your low back, out to the side, down. Other side, out to the side, touch your low back, out to the side, down. So you go out to the side, Turn your palm over to touch your low back, out to the side, and down. Try not to let your hips move as you do this. We'll do a couple more. Out to the side. Touch your low back. Out to the side. Down. Out to the side. Nice, Jasper. Touch your low back. Out. One more time each side. Out to the side. Touch your low back. Now it might be that you do this on your hands and knees. I should have told you that in the beginning. When we do the second round, you can do it on your hands and your knees if it's too intense for either your back or your arm. That's fun. All right, coming back up. I know we're all breathing hard, but we're gonna go right into round two, which is burpees. Are you gonna join us for the burpees? <laughs> See, per no, you say I burpees, I need to rename them. Because you say burpees and people go, uh, even though they're great fun. Okay, everybody ready? Burpees, go. Oh, I see. He burped. <laughs> Squat, jump out, 
push up, jump in, jump up, or your variation. Whatever that is. Feel free to add a burp at any moment. Watch your head so you don't bump it on things. Woo. Couple more. One more. Jump out. Push up. Jump in. We're still going. And stop. Woo. We're still going. Pause. Catching your breath. Today's an intense day. You guys can do it. We've been working towards this. Power step ups. Do your variation. Doesn't have to be big, but it can be. If this is your first class in a while. If this is your first class in a while, enjoy it. <laughs> Laugh with us. Because it will be Take a little class. and then jump. Little doesn't have to be big. <laughs> little. Or you can take it big. You can do two big ones and then two little ones. Just for dodge hopping. Woo. One more. Woo. Switch sides. Catch our breath. Other leg is your power leg. Take a step back. And up. It can be little. Just still focus it on the power of it. As if you were jumping as tall as a skyscraper. Oh, and he's down. Mommy, I can sell my soda too. Oh, I mommy, so I like that, Jasper. You charger. Yeah, that's awesome. Woo! <laughs> Do two more. All the creams are doing great. You and Kathy are both two. Awesome. And awesome. Good work to the creeds. <laughs> we have two creeds participating today from their various households. I haven't noticed if Caden has joined his mama yet. Uh, all right. Well, Breathing. You're going to come to your hands and knees. Is one. Option. So this is the variation for the high plank, or you can straighten your legs. Either one. Arm goes out to the side, to your back, out to the side. Speed is not important for this one. Out to the side, to your back, side and down, side, back, side, down, side, back. Side, down, couple more. Side, back, side, down, side, back, side, down, side, back, side, last half, side, back, side, and down. Woo! How's everybody doing? Are you breathing? Good. <laughs> Come on up into your I see some pretty heavy breathing. Actually. Squat. We're gonna hold here while we catch our breath. If you're under the age of ten, you don't need to catch your breath. I need to just drink lemon juice. Oh, and he's revitalized with some lemon juice. <laughs> Holding this position, let's have the hands and press your arms together as hard as you can. Holding your legs, sending your legs apart. Breathing. Breathing, go a little lower. Holding here, pressing your knees apart. Breathing. And go a little lower. Breathing. Yeah, I can go lower. <laughs> you got it low. I can almost touch the ground. And come down to the floor. Okay, we got some abs to do. <coughs> so, we're going to start just sitting because we're still maybe catching your breath. Tip back just a little bit so you're holding here. Yep. 
making sure that your tummy, uh, not your tummy, your tail, your imaginary tail is tucked between your legs. You're holding here. It's a great preparation for the rolling that Jasper's doing. Feel so free to add in the rolling. Now you're going to go two inches further back, tucking your tail. Your hands may be just barely touching your knees now. Holding here. If it starts to hurt in your back, come out of it. Go back up to the first variation. Holding here. You may start to feel some work. That's good. You can float your feet up off the floor if you want. You're going to go one more inch back, tucking your tail even more, holding here. This is starting to get hard. You can put your feet back down if you need to. They're just barely off the floor if they're off the floor, like your levitation. So levitation practice. Keep holding. One more inch. Holding here. Now my ribs aren't touching, but they're almost touching. Five, four, three, two, relax. Ooh. Golly. Okay, so on your side, left arm, depending on which way you're facing, but left arm is coming towards me, right arm is behind your head. Legs are bent. You're going to lift up and down. <coughs> These are accordion crunches. Curling up and down. Up and down. Up and down. <laughs> <laughs> are your legs on the floor now? Legs are on the floor. Okay. Up okay. and down. Up. And you get to push into your arm that's on the floor. Though it's coming straight towards the camera, you still get to push into it. Let's do a couple more, starting to feel it. Uh, Good. And then we'll switch sides. Okay. <laughs> So, right arm is coming straight towards, it is hard, let me run. Straight towards the camera. Left arm's behind your head. Lifting up and down. It's okay, maybe you don't lift up. Maybe it's just small. What you're working on is the lateral flexion of the side of your torso. Maybe you come up, it's always very um, sideways. Don't come forward. It's like you're in that little tiny hallway again. And so your your head can't move forward. It can only move side to side. Just do two more. One, two, and pause. And Jasper was rolling the ball back and forth, back and forth. Okay, now I introduced this earlier this week. We're going to do it again. But, so it's the starfish crunch. If you know the starfish crunch, start. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to give you a variation. So, you're going to lie in a big, huge X. Variation number one is just to reach up with one arm and then the other arm. You're going across your body. Variation number two, add your legs. So you're trying to reach your leg and you use your hand on the floor to help you. So you're trying to touch your legs. You roll with your arms out. You can follow Jasper if you want. That's the kid version. The hard kid. And then there's one more variation which involves not having your legs or your arms touch the floor. This is the true starfish stuck upside down. Variation. Let's do a couple more. You can't just be using your arm. Jasper's doing the egg rolls very nicely. You can be using your arm and your leg. Or you can just be floating arms and legs. They come up and up. Everybody do one more of their version on each side. Woo! And then stop. Golly. You guys are doing good. We have 30 seconds. We're just going to stretch our wrists. So straight arm. Find that wrist stretch. Pulling your fingers back. If you can hyperextend your elbows, don't. <laughs> Try to keep them straight. And then go to the other side. 
Bring your arm to straight, try not to go past straight. Finding that stretch of your wrists and your fingers. If you can, you can do this while hopping in circles. It's good to have you back, Jasper. And Kaden is hopping too. Yay! And then relax your hands. <laughs> Shake them out. Next, we're going to slow our motors down and meditate. <laughs> okay, ready, set, meditate, go. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's slow. Let's slow our motors down a little bit. Find find a comfortable way to sit. There might be a lot of energy stirred up in your house right now. Could be. <laughs> so uh, let's just let everybody in the house settle down. Bring your attention to your breath. Be aware of what's happening around you in your room. If you're in a good situation to do so, close your eyes. Just watch your breath. Enjoy the inhales and the exhales. Normally I don't, I say just to breathe naturally today, just exaggerate your inhale and exhale slightly and see what that feels like. Not so much, you feel like you're not getting enough air, just a little bit. <coughs> now, what we're gonna do, you might want to open your eyes just for a sec so you can see what I'm gonna do. You're gonna put your arms out to the side and really stretch through between your shoulders and maybe a little bit up. And you're gonna let your legs stretch out a little bit. If you're in a half lotus and that feels awkward for you, then don't worry about it. You're just gonna extend your arms. And then I'm gonna have you close your eyes and really reach as far as you can while you continue to watch your breath. As if, there's little fairies or elves pulling your arms apart slightly from the middle fingers. So you're nice and big kinosphere, if you know that word. It's how much space you're taking up. And now, where I'm gonna have you bring your arms back and go back to your normal posture, but I want you to feel internally what it's like to take up this much space and what, how open and how energized it feels. And now bring your body back to your normal sitting position, but try to keep that expansive feeling. Open, extended, available, connected, energized. See if you can sit with that feeling on your own for the next minute. You can even imagine that your arms are still extending and you're still getting that little bit of information from the little elves.
even as you do this, feeling your shoulders going back just slightly, but not pinching in the lower back, not pushing forward at the hips. Enjoy the feeling of a nice wide open chest. Plenty of space to breathe. Now let's take a few deep inhales and exhales together. Ready, one, two, three, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, keep inhaling, and as you exhale, just release all the tension in your body. Ready, exhale. Inhale, grow big, just like you were when your hands were out to the side. Grow really big. Stay big as you exhale. What would your day be like if you could stay in that big of a space? Okay, that's it for our meditation today. Thank you all for joining us. If this was your first time joining us, welcome. Um, that was a, an intense workout. That was one of the most intense we've done. So uh, if you if you were having trouble keeping up, it's okay. You'll get used to it. Yes. Um, and now it's time for Make a Difference. A third part. Hey, boys. <laughs> okay, the Make a Difference for today is give someone a heartfelt compliment. So a heartfelt compliment is more than just, hey, I like your hat. It's, it's maybe something that somebody did for you. You could write them an email. It should be like- Yeah, your... specifically write it down. Yeah, yeah, specifically write it down. That's good, yeah. And um, tell them what, the, the two parts of it are tell them what specifically they did and tell them why it helped you. And so you can mail it, you can email it, but make it actual writing. And specific. And specific. It's a very strict assignment today. <laughs> and Caius made a Star Wars ship. All right, he'll tell you more about the Star Wars ship after class here. That's all for today. Thank you for joining us. And Wait, we'll I want to if you want to stick around and chat, we just move computers so that we can all chat. I want to say something on this. That lemon juice I drank during class was not just plain lemon juice. It was lemon juice with water in it. Imagine what lemon juice would do. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. <laughs> this is not guys, don't touch anything, Kayla. Okay, Sorry, Brubacher.